crypto economics is this like emerging field of um, expertise at the intersection of computing and economics that uh, studies decentralized networks that can be built by combining like cryptography and economic incentives. So it's about engineering network behavior while ensuring security of the network and inviting participation into the system, a system that relies on contribution of resources from others to provide the different functions of production of monetary value, channeling transactions, providing liquidity and governance mechanisms and voting. And um, using concepts of the like SDS, I wanted to talk about three points as it, it relates to crypto economics. Uh, one, to what extent is crypto economics a formalized discipline of, um, and to what extent does it reflect uh, commonsensical and tacit worldviews? Uh, Web3 entrepreneurs can be characterized as um, what SDS uh, scholar of finance, like Michel Calon, um, th terms economists in the wild. And the term is used to describe actors whose activities have significant consequences in economic design, but they are not themselves, like per se, econom economists. So, for instance, um, like economic fields associated with um, crypto economics like mechanism design, game theory, control theory, etc., by themselves uh, are really highly specialized uh, mathematical fields in economics. Uh, but participants in the V3 space are able to like oper operationalize uh, them in ways that reflect uh, tacit assumptions about deci uh, decision making that can be dynamically shaped in interaction with a different like um, with the infrastructure. So, for instance, uh, oftentimes we I hear people using things like game theory as interchangeably with incentives or to just refer to any process of um, designing games more broadly. So crypto economics seems to really, like crypto economic concepts really lend themselves to construction of like worldviews and cultural fields as much as a formalized like uh, mathematical operations. Second, that the economic practices of um, that are associated with crypto economics like mechanism design uh, can inherently like hide uh, mechanisms of power because of, they are nebulous. So the, the history of economics um, um, shows how messy this field has been, especially at the field blended with computing in the late 20th century. And um, this in game, crypto economics is another instance of this reblending. Um, the game theory itself can be traced to the history of World War II and recruitment of economies for operation research and design of warfare strategy. And control theory was similarly used in like high precision um, workloads in satellite autopilots. And then use of mechanism design kind of picked up in the 1990s when the FAA recruited um, camps of theoretical and experimental economics for like fair uh, allocation of spectrum bandwidth among uh, various stakeholders through uh, systematic design of markets. Uh, but some like um, uh, SDS scholars argue that at the end, what economists accomplished was to find ways to give uh, some customers their preferred license at good prices, and that the actual use of something like game theory in the process of that mechanism design was left really like, dubious. Therefore, um, the uh, process of mechanism design have mostly delivered a new role for economists in, the, in, in political economy. And, and third uh, thing that I've been thinking about is that the leveraging human incentives as uh, one of the, that is one of the pillars of crypto economics is an element of creating some level of decentralization in various ways that uh, does not necessarily fit with the ideologies of decentralization within the Web3 space. So for example, um, like nudging um, has been used as a mode of governance in within institutions with the idea of aligning individual uh, behaviors with collective goals without enforcement of uh, bureaucratic processes or rules. And um, um, it's also advertised as part of like optimizing social welfare in some cases enforced by the state and like token economies if, uh, were used um, uh, um, in the 19, like 70s, 80s as mechanisms of like in institutional rehabilitation for prisoners, et cetera. And, and more recently, like online advertising exchanges that match buyers, suppliers, and film platforms like Uber um, present their product as being a market design and adding efficiency, like creating efficient uh, markets and reducing transaction costs. Um, 
so and these design processes structure forms of decision making and encode economic relations so the question that i've been thinking about with this is in what ways um can this leveraging of incentives and incentivization be considered as part of like creating more of control infrastructures as an exploitative process and in what in what ways uh can it be designed as some kind of like coordinated mechanism? And then I'm just gonna end that. And um, and also I would love to talk to people about challenges of ethnography and I'd love to brainstorm on that with anyone who's interested. Thank you.